Okay, folks, today I want to talk about compressors. I know I have several videos now on compressors, compressor wiring, we talk about capacitors, we talk about contactors, but I've had two or three calls in the last couple of days where I've tried to help people. They tell me, I got my wires off the compressor and I didn't take a picture. I must stress, guys, anytime you work on a motor, a compressor, a thermostat, pull out your phone, take a picture of everything. It's gonna save yourself a lot of confusion. And also at the same time, if you're not careful and you put the wire in the wrong place, you will burn up that motor, okay? Or in a thermostat situation, you just won't work or you'll blow the fuse in the air handler. So I want, I want to talk about, you wanna know why? Hey, you got a contactor in your hand and a, and a um, capacitor. You know, this is just a basic contactor, okay? There's nothing special about this. You have, you have your line in and your load out. Line in is usually L1, L2. The, the load out is T1, T2. Okay, so all your wiring coming from your compressors and your fan motors, most of that's gonna be tied to the top of this, okay? Now, let's talk about this capacitor. It's the reason I got this in the hand. This capacitor, is a 440 volt AC. Sometimes you'll see 370 volt AC, but majority of the time we just go with this, okay? Because the extra voltage on the capacitor doesn't really do anything as far as harming the equipment at all. It just gives a little more push. And a capacitor is stored energy. It's, it pushes, it, it helps it go faster. So the point I want to make with this is that most of the time the smallest wire coming from the compressor is going to go to the capacitor and the reason for that is because it's got uh, higher voltage so the wire doesn't need to be as large okay and there's a reason behind that so I want to talk about the capacitor itself now you see these terminals you got four terminals three and two the four terminal is always the common. I want you to look at this, see the C? C stands for common. And then you've got the three terminal, that's the HERM. That's where the start winding of the comp compressor is gonna come every time it's this. It's gonna be the smallest wire, okay? And then I'll just show you this. This is always two and this is the fan. So all capacitors, just about 99% of them are gonna have four, three, and two. Common perm and fan okay so now let's talk about the compressor itself so you, you come over here here's your typical compressor I also have a video out for windings okay so this here compressor see this wire see how this wire is the smallest wire see see the diameter I want you to look really close you can see that it's at least a gauge difference okay so I know before I even look over here, I know that wire is going to go to the capacitor. So let's just trace and see. Right here, it goes to the capacitor, and guess what? It has three terminals, okay? Now, this, this wire here, this is the run of the uh, compressor, and it's going to go to T1. A lot of times, if you'll notice on your contactors, you'll have yellow wires, you have blue wires, you'll have your other color wires usually on T1. And now you notice the black wire here is common. It's on the right hand side and usually all the same color wires, all the black wires will be on one side and all the other different color wires will be on the left side. And they do that just to keep you organized so you don't cross the wires because if you used to put this wire over here or this wire here, then it would either burn something up in the compressor or it just wouldn't work at all if you're lucky, okay? So now this here was an old Goodman unit, okay? This is a train unit, all right? This is a train coupling compressor. And I, you, also you notice this is a coupling compressor too. So let's look at this. This is a, uh, a, a type that has the plug in it, okay? So here's the plug. And, and that's very simple as far as hooking that up. So I wanna show you something on this plug. You got L2 is start, L1 is common, and L3 is run. So let's look at this. Let's say I, di I didn't take a picture, but this particular case, you can't mess this up. 
but it, maybe I unhooked it from my uh, contactor. Let's look at this. Okay, the wires are coming up here. This here's the smallest diameter wire. Let's start back over here. I apologize. Look at this. The smallest wire is the orange wire. And where does the orange wire go? Since it's the smallest wire, it goes to the capacitor. In this particular case, I have taken the capacitor out for whatever reason. We're scrapping this equipment. Okay, so that's where that wire would have went. Now let's look at this. L1 is common. In this case, it went to the this side of the uh, contactor. Okay, but I want you to look. This is a red wire, and this is a brown wire. But see on this side, like I was saying, on this side, you're going to see everything the same color. This here is a low voltage wire, but all your high voltage is going to be the same color, and usually they're always black. Okay. Now you've got your your uh, common wire, which is the black wire, which is on this side. Hey, folks, you know, don't get confused if, if, if all the black wires are on the right or on the left and red wires, are, they all are the same, okay? It doesn't matter if it's right. The manufacturers can put them on any side of the contract they want to. You just keep them the same, okay? So let's look again. I'm gonna go over here. Okay, we got three wires, okay? Now, this particular case here, the we got a, a purple, excuse me, you've got a, a red, a black, and a yellow. So we're, this one here is not really lined up kind of like I want it to be, but let's see if I can trace it out here, okay? So we're gonna go the orange wire, and here is what I'm talking about, guys. You got all the black wires on one side, and you got all the red wires on this side, okay? I wanna tell you another little secret. The red wire, is usually or the yellow wires always goes to the common of the capacitor okay okay now this particular case hold on a second this went to the blower motor this wire right here is the yellow wire they've got the yellow wire which is an industry standard color going to the herm now this is an older unit I want you to stand back and look this is an older unit this is a Goodman unit okay now this wire here is the same diameter as the other wires. That's why you have to know that the start winding of the compressor goes to the herm of the capacitor, okay? And that's, that's where you have to look sometimes. Um, all right, this here is a temp star, okay? Same thing. Look at this. Start, common, run. Look at this. The blue wire is the smallest wire. So where does the blue wire go? It will go to the capacitor. Okay, we pull this out for whatever reason, but the capacitor. Look at the red wire. Where does that red wire go? It goes right here to, L, uh, to T2, and the black wire is going to T1. Okay? Okay, the, the point I'm making here, guys, is, is everything's the same. Let's look at this. Once again, you have your three colors. You have the purple wire. Where's the purple wire going? It's going to the capacitor, see? You have the black wire going to common, and then you have the red wire going to, to uh, T, T1, okay? All right, and then let's talk about this. So yesterday I had a guy call me, he says, oh my gosh, man, I have uh, some gray wires coming out of my capacitor, and, and another guy called me and said it's some yellow wires or something like that. What he saw was right here, you see this switch right here? This is a uh, low pressure switch. So if the, if the pressure gets below a certain PSI, the switch kicks it out. And here's a high pressure switch, okay? And that kicks it out. So if it gets above, you know, this here's a 410A, if it gets above 400, it'll kick it out. So don't get confused with this stuff, okay? All right, and here once again, same plug, same thing. The blue wire is the smallest wire. Guess where that blue wire goes? It goes to the capacitor again. The black wires are common. Did, it, did the manufacturer use the right or left side this time for? So they used, in this case, they used T2, the right hand side. So the black wire is common, and uh, this this wire here is the uh, run. The yellow. So, folks, 
when you get over here and you start trying to work on your own stuff, start trying to change your own capacitors, take pictures, pay attention of what you're doing. Because all of this stuff is the same. It doesn't matter if it's a carrier, train, Ream, Linux. They're all basically the same, same piece of equipment, okay? I hope this video helps. If you, uh, if you like this, please share, please like, and please comment. And one thing I want to bring out, guys, got to get some people in this trade. This industry is, is going wall wide open, and we've got to get these young kids in here, okay? Take somebody. I personally try to take two or three people a year, and I really take them and give them my time and rub shoulder to shoulder with them and try to help them out because I want to know in 20 years these guys are successful and these guys are the leaders in the industry, and I want you to do the same. I challenge all you technicians and you owners out there to do the same. Thank you.